Oh, good evening, everyone. My name is Christian Secchi, and I'm the co-founder of uh, EasyPack uh, Far East. Uh, tonight, I'm going to talk about a revolution that is going to change the way e-commerce and logistics are working. So get ready, because every revolution comes to solve a problem. And to see this problem, let's jump directly into this video. Smith, Smith. Mr. Smith, you're at the movies. Should I take you back to the center? I've been running around the city all day to catch you. Michael, wouldn't it be better to pick it up whenever you like? How? I do my shopping at Vertical's only when the delivery to the Easy Pack terminal. In Singapore, the Easy Pack is next to you. Oh, and they're rewarding you with discount coupons. No waiting lines, 24 7. Simply exciting. Let me tell you something. This is not a problem only for us, consumers. It's also a problem for e shops and businesses. Asia e commerce market accounts 27% of the global market and is growing two digits yearly. In some countries, three digits. Look at China. E commerce B2C worth 51 billion US dollars and grow in 2012. 130%. We can go ahead with Hong Kong, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia, Vietnam. They are all coming. So, this growth needs a reliable logistic network, a reliable logistic infrastructure. I give you one sample. 360 by is the second B2C in shop in China. Is delivering every day in Beijing 600,000 parcels. They will build up their own network of 10,000 delivery boys because China Post and private courier they cannot match their demand. How come? What can we do for this? Where is the solution? We have the solution. It's called Easy Pack 24-7. It's a new revolutionary way of parcel delivery based on automated parcel lockers. The parcel lockers are located in convenient places like MTR, universities, shopping malls, supermarkets, schools, everywhere. And uh, how it works this system? You shop online. You choose easy packet delivery as a delivery option. Then you get a text alert when the parcel is delivered to the locker. And then you can pick up your parcel whenever you want, 24-7 for 72 hours. And you know what is very amazing of this concept? 74% of the customer who try the service once, they prefer it to normal delivery. They don't like it. They love it. <laughs> it's true, it's true. Love is a good thing. So let's see what are the benefits for this amazing service. For e shoppers, no more waiting at home. Do your shopping online and then uh, don't think uh, don't pick the one. 24 7 access, 7 seconds to pick up uh, a parcel. What are the benefits for the e-commerce? No more fail delivery that now accounts 10% of, uh, of the daily delivery. Faster delivery option and cut the operational cost. Are you good in math? Try to figure in your mind. 80 parcels delivered in 80 different places take one and a half person for one day, or 80 parcels delivered to our locker to load 80 parcels takes 12 minutes. So we are cutting the logistic cost 80%. How do we make money from this business? First of all, we can sell uh, the locker to postal courier or a private, uh, uh, to postal operator or private courier, like Australia Post, Saudi Arabia Post, Nightline, Barcelona Hotel in, uh, in Ireland. Or we can set up the network and rent on exclusivity basis the, the lockers. Or we can set up the network, partner with the courier, and send the service directly to the e-tailers. 
just to give you some numbers, one locker is around 250,000 Hong Kong dollar. To get back the investment in 25 months, we need 33 parcels per day and 20 Hong Kong dollar each, each parcel. So, besides the benefits for e shoppers and e-tailers, uh, we have uh, experience and know how worldwide. We are already in 17 countries from Poland uh, to Australia. This is, a proven, this is a proven concept. So what we can give more to this project? We know how to avoid mistakes, we know where to locate the couriers, and we know how to attract customers. And you know why? Because we have direct access to the manufacturer, and we are all in two networks in the UK and Poland. So we are both supplier and uh, customer of ourselves. That's a big advantage that nobody else in the world. You know what? We know also how to market uh, the product. And marketing in this case must be a digital marketing because we are dealing with e-commerce. For example, this is the lead landing page of Groupon Poland with our, uh, with our parcel locker. We do cooperation with uh, uh, online shops this one was a cooperation with the DVD online shop. They launched the premiere of the movie Avatar, and, they, and if you order online, you can have it delivered to our parcel locker at midnight. 500 people, they collect the, the DVD from midnight to 5 a.m. This is what we call a true premiere. We do also Facebook marketing. We have 264,000 uh, likes, we keep the customer uh, updated, uh, we, we answer the question and we organize lucky draw. We do marketing mobile, this is our app, how we share, you can collect the parcel, if you collect the, the faster every month, can, can share the, the time you collect the parcel to the social network and then you can win a tablet or uh, a smartphone. So, where, uh, so how far have you gone so far? We are the tender in Taiwan Post. We have a small project in, with DBS Bank Hong Kong. We have a tender with Post Large in Malaysia, and we are launching the first hour network in Asia of 150 lockers. But we want more. Our vision is to set up a network of 4,200 parcel locker all over Asia. What we need from you? We need contact with tailors, contact with couriers. We need, we need business developer. And of course, if you have money, we accept all the currencies. <laughs> Thank you very much. Get ready for the revolution. So you are you are a, a established company, right? Not really a startup, are you? <laughs> I tell you, I tell you my story now. <laughs> Jamal, sorry, that was my time. I tell you my story. I born ninety no. So uh, <laughs> this is a pro uh, okay. This is a company that they start this innovative project a few years ago in Poland, and now they are expanding worldwide. Okay. What I did last uh, January after I resigned from my previous job, I was a sales manager all over Asia Pacific. I came to Hong Kong and then prepared a business plan. I fly to Poland and then I told these these people, look, I have this experience, this network in Thailand, Malaysia, China, Japan, I can develop this uh, project. Do you want to do the best? Yes, okay, but you start. So you put your money, you show us, and then, uh, and then uh, we, we give you our, our uh, part of uh, investment. I start, I start to create the project, and now we are developing our first project, so we are starting to, to be. But it's a, in Asia, it's, not, it's the only continent where they are not present and where there is no system. So I came here to develop, to bring this technology, but to adapt to the, to the local Asian market. In every country, four projects, four different business models, four different uh, approach. Do you find any cultural difference here? Like, for example, I mean, in China, maybe your, your whole container will be, you know, taken away. <laughs> <laughs> no. You know what? This one maybe could happen in uh, some places in Kuala Lumpur, but not in China, because it was one of the most safest countries in the world. <laughs> Thanks to the Communist Party, but I don't even want to talk about politics, but it's one of the safest countries. 
In Malaysia, in some areas, we don't place the locker. Before to place the locker, there are team surveyors, they go there with the tablet, they take picture, they match the criteria, we send back to the in, to our analyst team, and then uh, and then we decide, okay, that one is a good location to place a terrier. Because if you make a mistake placing one location, then you can remove, but it's money. If you make a mistake with one other location, and that location costs 20,000 Hong dollar, you, you, are, you lose already 200,000 Hong dollar to move the the and, and how is it working in Hong Kong? Because Hong Kong real estate is actually really expensive, right? Even just a few square foot, right? Yes. <laughs> got the point. You got the point. Mr. Ma knows this problem. I can uh, talk to him and tell him, find me location. location. I don't need money. I need location. No, I want to mess. No, I don't want your money. I want location. Then it's, we discuss about, in, in Hong Kong is the problem, because in Europe, we pay just a rental fee of, uh, let's say, 100 euro maximum, but we convince the owner of the site, like Petro Station, uh, that we are bringing them, uh, we are increasing the traffic, because every parcel locker is around 1,000, 1,500 people per month. So we have to convince them, it's a big job. I just came back from Malaysia, spent three days begging everyone, trying to convince, talk to them, uh, at the end, uh, I will convince them. I, I will never give up. <laughs> what, what is the deal you have with the uh, original owner? And what is what is your territory? Your territory is in Asia? Yeah, in Asia, but for, uh, okay. We have a joint venture, it's called Easy Buy. Okay, let, me, let me ask you, the, the real question is, how do you exit? If this, the brand and everything does not belong to you originally, what do you mean? Sorry. This product and the business itself was from Poland. Yeah. You license it for Asia, if I may, right? Yeah. That's we create a joint venture. It's called Easy Pack Far East. We create a joint venture. So we have 45% and they have 55 So we are almost equal partner. We put the capital to start and we have a protection because we have also our lawyer. We have a protection agreement. They cannot do it. <laughs> they cannot raise capital like this. But if I want, I can find partners and I can sell my share because this is business. If it works, we are talking about 100 million US dollars in 2017. Let me tell you this: you remind me of a company called Buffer Box. It's a startup in Canada. I just so happen to know the team. They did exactly the same thing. The product looked exactly the same. The business model is the same. They were acquired by Google last December. Now, if Google come and say, I would like to acquire you because of the Asia, right? Now, you owe 45%. What if the 55% partner say, no, we don't like it? Unless you take the entire world. I'll tell you one thing. Last week, they sold the business of Central Europe to the guy, I don't remember the name, the founder of Napster. Mm -hmm. uh, now, he is owning other company, e-commerce and everything. You know what? He went to Poland and told them, guys, your business is Central Europe. Uh, it worth 700 million euros, okay, because you have... 3,000 uh, lockers. Okay, so now I'm putting 10% on the table. I give you 70 million uh, uh, euro to the to the uh, to the easy pack, eh? not to integrate, but they are company. They open the door, of course, because this guy is bringing cash that they can use in Asia and other countries, and is bringing parcel because it's working on e-commerce. So if Google come here and they tell them how many parcel you bring me, how much you give me, then we sit down on the table and discuss. Okay. Yes. Another question, different angle. Please. Google brings Buffalo Box here. What's the difference? The competition is one of the best things in the world because make me working harder to give, <laughs> to, give, to, give, to, give to give to provide the best the best service. Look, there are six, seven companies in the world that are manufacturing this thing. I'm not the, the only one. And we are not also the best manufacturer, but we are the best executing the project. You know our secret? The execution, the know-how, the experience. That's, what, that's something that Google can buy from Bufferbox. But Bufferbox, they don't have five years or four, almost five years owning their own network. That's the difference. Because this company, they own a network in Poland and they're launching now a project of 2,000 parts and local in the UK. So they are expanding. But in this country, we do. Christian, where are you from? Italy. <laughs> 